in this position consistently for the nearly three years I've been a minister in this department. Yes. SNP spokesperson Stephen Flynn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have to admire the audacity of the Secretary of State talking about protecting jobs in the energy industry when, of course, it is his government that has presided over the loss of some 35,000 jobs in Scotland's North Sea industry over the course of recent years alone. And it gets worse, Mr. Speaker, because, of course, this is the same government that opted not to fund carbon capture and underground storage in the north east of Scotland, costing some 20,000 new jobs. So can the Secretary of State perhaps clarify to the public why on earth should the public trust the Tories when it comes to jobs? Well, I'll make three points about that. Acorn was an excellent project, and we want to see it developed uh, very soon in the next wave, which we want to accelerate. But to, to hear uh, the members of the Scottish National Party giving us lectures about energy when they're not committed to nuclear, yeah. they're in bed with the Greens, who simply want to flick the switch off on oil and gas yeah. in their own country, is an extraordinary, there's an extraordinary arrogance uh, in, in this, Mr Speaker. And I'm very, very happy to compare my record, our record, as job creators uh, with his Extinction Rebellion approach uh, to the, the North Sea. Yeah. I'm afraid the Secretary of State does his reputation no good whatsoever by propagating such unfounded garbage. But if he wants to talk about records, let's, let's talk about records. Because despite energy being reserved to this place, it is the Scottish Government that has delivered a £62 million pounds energy yep. transition fund. It is the Scottish Government that has just delivered £30 million pounds to Aberdeen South Harbour. It is the Scottish Government who has just delivered £15 million pounds to Aberdeen Hydrogen Hub. And of course, it is the Scottish Government who has just delivered a £500 million pound just transition fund for the entire North East of Scotland. After taking in some £375 billion pounds from Scotland's natural resources, when are the Tories going to give back? Look, I'm not going to take any lectures from the Honourable Gentleman about energy policy. His party is committed to a job-destroying coalition with the Greens, with the Greens who want to switch the, the lights off the North Sea. Everybody knows that. That's why investment uh, is very difficult to attract. And our job is to militate against uh, your extinction, their extinction rebellion approach, and encourage investment, as my right honourable friend said, uh, in our North Sea. Mark Paulsey. Speaker, jobs in the energy sector depend on an effective market, and an effective market depends on consumers exercising their choice to change 